this video is about drop shipping. You didn't know? Well, here we go. Simple drop shipping. Uh, we're trying to get started. We're trying to get a, a, an eBay drop shipping deal going with little to no money, as little money as possible, while realizing you're in PayPal jail and you're going to have to lay out money while money is being held in PayPal. Okay. Um, I've touched upon customer service on a couple of other videos, but customer service is really important. You, you're starting out, you don't want to get negative feedback. Uh, definitely don't want to get negative feedback you're a brand new seller you're looking to build up your 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 uh your seller's rank so you don't want to get negative feedback some of the things you can look out for is when you when you're going through and researching your items make sure that the pictures that you post are accurate to the item i had one item it was a kitchen set. It was a play school kitchen set. Had a sink, a stove, and and, and like kind of countertop set up like a kitchen for girls to play with, or any not girls, but you know for kids to play a kitchen uh, house type of deal. And uh, it was a good price. I had a good price. I had a good picture, but the picture had a couple of kids standing at the at the play set playing with pots and pans and whatever else they had in their hands. And uh, turns out my playset didn't have pots and pans in it so I was getting returns so it's things like that and believe me that was a big headache for me because it was a, it was a big item to be returned and the first one got returned to my house not back to the supplier so thank goodness it was Walmart I was able to run down to my local Walmart and return it Walmart is great so anyway uh, be true to what your item is when you're doing your listings, okay? Your, your title has to be accurate. Your pictures have to be accurate. Make sure there's not extra stuff in the pictures that can confuse people to make them think they're getting more than they're getting, okay? Uh, so that's one thing. Customer service. When somebody's not happy with something, bend over backwards to make them happy, you know, uh, Make sure you tell them that before they make negative feedback, please give me an opportunity to correct the problem. Uh, if you have to lose money, if you have to give somebody a return, realize if you're giving somebody a return, you're out your eBay fees and your PayPal fees, okay? So you're out of those fees if you're giving a return. You're, you're losing money on returns, you are. No doubt about it, okay, you are. But guess what, I'd rather lose 13% off an item okay and then have a negative feedback that's going to be on my thing on my ebay in black and white blue and white whatever the hell it is uh forever that every seller every buyer is going to see in my seller thing negative feedback that for whatever reason could be the craziest stupidest thing people are crazy like i said they they got item wasn't listed as uh, wasn't wasn't delivered as shown or whatever the whatever the thing is uh, make sure, make sure you got to be specific, and it's got to, it's got to be right. You don't want to, you don't want to chance returns. They're gonna happen. They're gonna happen. You're gonna have returns, but do everything you can not to have returns. Okay, do everything you can not to have returns. Do everything you can with customer service. It is real important. It really, I can't stress it enough that it's, it's, it's that's your business. That's your face on the internet. That's your personality. It's your persona. It's who you are. It's your credibility. Okay. If 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 people can't trust you, they're not going to buy from you. Kabish. So if they're not going to buy from you, if if you have negative feedback, it's just the way of the world. And and would you ask yourself that question? Would you buy off somebody that had negative feedback who said the uh, uh, seller was not a good communicator? seller took too long to get back to my questions seller didn't do which is another thing when someone on ebay sends you a message answer it answer it okay they they may be stupid may be ridiculous but you're not answering just that one person that comment there could be 50 freaking people with that same question stopping them from buying your item okay and only one person out of the 50 had the nuts to ask you so you put it on there Okay, you reply, you reply everything through eBay. You don't do any personal emails. You don't use your personal email to email your customers. You do everything through your eBay account, okay? So eBay has a record. If there's ever a dispute, there's ever a dispute that you weren't communicating, it's right there. eBay, you don't have to worry about getting your emails to them or anything. It's all right there in your eBay account, okay? Conduct yourself professionally in a professional manner Okay, realize that you're gonna have to eat a little crow 
because you're never going to see that customer again. That customer is a complete and utter moron who doesn't deserve your time. But unfortunately, they represent a percentage of customers that are going to see how you handle that situation and they're going to decide on whether or not they want to do business with you based on how you handled that problem. All right? So hopefully that makes sense to you. I'm not, there's a puddle there. I'm not going to I'm not going to go on and on about it, you know, I think I've made it perfectly clear how I feel about customer service. It is the most important part of your business. It's more important about than how much money you're making. Okay, if you're making 10%, 12%, 20%, doesn't matter. Okay, because you'll be making zero percent if your customer service rating goes down. If your if your seller's rank goes down. If you're not a preferred seller. If you've got negative feedback, it's going to go in the tank for you, and it's going to be difficult, if not impossible, to get out of it. You may have to start all over again. You may have to close that account and start a new account. You know, because it's very hard to return recover from negative feedback. It really, it really, it it, it really. I can't say it enough. There's really nothing, not, nothing that's not worth doing to get out of negative feedback. All right. Well, that's that in a nutshell. Like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Okay. Share this video with people that are drop shipping. You know, you know that idiot who doesn't think customer service is important. Okay. Who thinks he could be just an idiot to people and a real jerk. All right. And uh, you know that may work until he gets to be known. I mean, it's you know it's what's going to happen sooner or later. Sooner or later, karma. Right. That karma is going to come up and bite you, right? That's what happens. So, you know, like, share, 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 share. Okay. Sunny and share. I've had enough. I've had enough. It's been a long one. All right.